Seems like my cosplays are uh, fully organized as uh, normal, so I uh, got. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I uh, didn't see you there. So, so yeah. Hey guys, this is AccoladeTac4427 here with another special video for all of you guys, and. Yeah, it's actually quite interesting. I've actually gone from a long uh, response slash rant video that I did uh, yesterday to, of course, uh, another uh, long, uh, pretty much uh, a day later uh, for a sure so. But hey, I guess it's uh, for a good reason uh, for a sure. I guess since uh, yesterday where I talked, oh, uh, when I was having uh, my uh, DVD and Blu ray uh, shelf uh, talking about uh, what's going on with physical media, I think it makes sense to transition back to, of course, my closet uh, here in my bedroom uh, showcasing uh, the good majority of my cosplays that I currently uh, got because, uh, yeah, I guess uh, for uh, today's video, uh, it is, of course, uh, revolving around uh, cosplays for a sure, but particularly a certain event. That uh, that is of course uh, Kong on uh, for a uh, sure. Uh, pretty much uh, when I actually uh, go to a convention uh, for a uh, sure. And yes, by the way, I am of course going to be talking about cosplay contests and masquerades uh, for a uh, sure. So. So yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much uh, what I'm uh, talking about in uh, today's uh, video for uh, sure. Uh, and uh, I bet a lot of you guys are uh, wondering, uh, why am I bringing up uh, this uh, subject matter uh, for uh, sure? Uh, have you uh, been, uh, have you at least uh, been participating in, of course, uh, these events during your uh, time going to uh, conventions? Well, yes, uh, pretty much uh, for uh, sure. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, I always, uh, pretty much of anything, aside from uh, making videos as uh, always, I always do love uh, going out to a uh, convention uh, for uh, sure. And one of the things that uh, I always uh, love, yeah, I almost uh, love doing almost all the uh, time, well, of course, uh, I will, of course, enter myself in, of course, uh, some uh, cosplay contests uh, for uh, sure, whether it be uh, showcasing uh, the cosplays that I've actually made uh, through some really nice uh, craftsmen or I will at least uh, perform me, uh, yeah, pretty much uh, do a performance, uh, whether it be a, a skit or uh, anything uh, else in particular. I always do love uh, pretty much uh, having a good time at a cosplay contest uh, for uh, sure, but there is a certain uh, thing that's uh, gone on uh, for uh, sure, and uh, and you do knowing, of course, uh, some of my uh, videos that I've actually uh, done in the uh, past, uh, where I actually showcase my highlights, uh, of course, uh, pretty much uh, the conventions I go to, hence why uh, pretty much on my uh, series on YouTube is indeed uh, convention vlogs and highlights uh, for a sure, uh, where, of course, uh, aside from uh, the uh, regular old uh, vlog that you uh, normally see, I will, of course, uh, do separate videos uh, doing uh, all these uh, highlights and stuff, uh, which uh, consists of, of course, uh, panels and events, or, of course, uh, certain uh, parts of uh, any event uh, at a uh, convention, and of course, uh, the uh, cosplay contest is definitely uh, on that uh, subject matter for sure, so. <clears throat> so, yeah. I guess, if anything, uh, pretty much every uh, once in a while, I will, of course, uh, pretty much uh, showcase uh, pretty much uh, the winners of, of course, uh, the people who have uh, participated in the uh, cosplay uh, contest uh, for uh, sure, right? Uh, why, you may ask? Uh, well, I guess uh, it is uh, quite obvious that if you have actually seen uh, the past uh, two or three videos that I... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I must have... Uh took a lot out of me, uh, for uh, sure. I'm so sorry, so... It's kind of hard to uh, do it all in uh, one breath, uh, for uh, sure, but... But anyways, uh, if you have actually uh, seen uh, the past uh, videos that I've actually uh, done uh, for uh, sure, at least about two or three videos uh, for uh, sure, I will of course uh, showcase uh, the uh, winners uh, who have uh, participated in these uh, cosplay uh, contests uh, for uh, sure, just as uh, my way to of course uh, show support uh, to the people who uh, who have actually uh, participated in uh, that said uh, event uh, for uh, sure, uh, and, uh, and yeah, I did actually uh, Dig a couple of uh, videos in regards to, of course, uh, all that uh, for uh, sure. Right? So, so yeah, I think it is actually uh, quite a thing that uh, guy that uh, I would actually uh, show my uh, support uh, for uh, the people who have actually won. But there is, of course, a good amount of uh, people uh, for uh, sure uh, who have also participated for uh, sure that sadly, of course, lost uh, for uh, sure uh, to which I. Uh, 
To which, yeah, I think it makes sense uh, for me to uh, talk about uh, for uh, sure. Uh, pretty much uh, on top of, of course, uh, the people who have uh, won uh, pretty much these uh, cosplay contests and uh, masquerades uh, for sure. There are a great number of people that have, uh, pretty much have also lost uh, for uh, sure. Uh, and, and I guess I mean no big surprise uh, because aside from me uh, winning a few times uh, for uh, sure, including a couple of uh, times uh, where I did actually uh, won uh, for uh, sure. I myself have actually uh, lost uh, pretty much uh, the amount of uh, cosplay contests and masquerades uh, for uh, sure uh, over the uh, years uh, when I actually uh, went out to uh, conventions for well over a decade uh, now uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah. And I guess uh, pretty much of anything, I guess I know uh, these uh, losers out there are uh, probably saying, uh, oh, those uh, winners are just uh, pretty much uh, showcasing uh, their, uh, pretty much uh, their uh, quote-unquote uh, creations to uh, make themselves uh, look good, while we ourselves are just nothing but uh, idiots uh, that just uh, couldn't uh, pretty much uh, catch a break and actually win something for once. Well, that's not actually the uh, case uh, for uh, sure, because of anything, uh, with what I just uh, said to you, that is actually a pure example of uh, poor sportsmanship uh, for uh, sure, and that is something that uh, can, of course, uh, be uh, massively irritating uh, for uh, sure, uh, so... Um but I do have my reasons on uh, why a great number of people have actually uh, lost uh, pretty much... Uh, these uh, cosplay contests that they are participating in, even I myself uh, is of course the uh, subject for all of that. Uh, part of the reason uh, for that is of course, well, there is some really, really tough uh, competition for uh, sure. So, so even if uh, you're uh, really excited to of course uh, be part of that event and of course showcase uh, what you got, uh, pretty much uh, one thing to uh, bear in mind is that uh, there are also other cosplayers out there that have also uh, entered uh, these events as well, and uh, many of which uh, are, of course, a really, really tough uh, competition uh, for uh, sure. Uh, so so I think chances are uh, they might actually have the upper hand, uh, of course, uh, actually uh, winning uh, these uh, events uh, for sure, more than uh, you do uh, for sure. So... So yeah, that's actually uh, one uh, good reason on uh, why that is uh, for uh, sure. And another reason is uh, mainly because, well, uh, pretty much of uh, anything, uh, the uh, judges they uh, brought on board uh, for uh, sure uh, are, of course, uh, also very well experienced cosplayers uh, for uh, sure. So they actually have way more experience uh, and, of course, uh, that uh, field uh, more than any of us uh, do uh, for uh, sure. So, so I think chances are uh, their decisions are, of course, uh, who would take home the uh, prize and who would be uh, left uh, empty-handed would uh, be uh, reliably on them uh, for uh, sure. Uh, so, so I think chances are uh, you actually want to uh, give uh, these uh, judges and the uh, audience uh, seeing uh, these uh, events uh, the best that you uh, can uh, for uh, sure. Uh, so, so it will mainly be up for the uh, judges uh, for uh, sure to uh, actually determine if uh, you've actually made it on top or not uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, that's actually uh, my uh, reasons on why I uh, think uh, that would be the uh, case uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, I think it's uh, why well, I can't say uh, of course uh, that uh, for Hunter uh, for uh, sure. So um, so that would beg the uh, number one question: uh, Do I think it is actually okay for someone to actually uh, lose a uh, cosplay contest and a masquerade? Honestly, to me, yeah, I uh, do think so uh, for uh, sure because uh, because yeah, really, let's face it. When I first started uh, cosplaying uh, all the way back in uh, 2015 uh, for uh, sure, right? Uh, I think I know uh, when I first started out uh, for uh, sure. I was, of course, relatively uh, new to uh, all of this, and uh, and of course, uh, I did want to uh, jump on board. Uh, of course, uh, this trend right away uh, for uh, sure with not only debuting uh, the original version of, of course, uh, Ash Ketchum from Pokemon, which I still currently uh, have uh, for uh, quite a long time now. Uh, but I also do want to uh, make a massive impression uh, for uh, sure with, of course, uh, my first time uh, cosplaying uh, for uh, sure. And, of course, uh, the uh, fourth uh, convention I went to around that time, which was, of course, uh, 
which was also my first time going there, which is Torakong up in uh, Rochester for a sure. And I mean, no secret that uh, I did actually uh, go to that uh, convention five times in a row. And uh, and yeah, I uh, always love uh, having a uh, good time uh, for a sure. And I know I haven't actually uh, been there uh, frequently uh, for a sure uh, because of uh, pretty much uh, stuff relating to uh, my family. Uh, and, uh, and of course, it does kind of change. Uh, Quite often, where of course, uh, pretty much uh, the first two years I actually uh, did uh, went uh, each uh, year, uh, but but of course uh, I actually did change to of course uh, once every uh, two to uh, three to four years, uh, yeah, for a uh, sure to which uh, yeah. And of course, uh, I uh, pretty much on uh, massive occasion not go there uh, at all uh, for a uh, sure so. So yeah, but I do hope that will change uh, over time uh, for a sure. And of course, uh, pretty much of anything in regards to uh, pretty much uh, this year's tour Kong uh, that I uh, went to, I did have a good time uh, for a sure. However, I think uh, pretty much uh, the uh, disorganization between uh, me and my mom uh, for a sure, and especially uh, with, of course, uh, my first time uh, trying to uh, do uh, two cosplays uh, at the exact same uh, day, didn't turn out the way I uh, thought I was uh, gonna go uh, for a sure. So, so yeah, that's actually uh, pretty much a few uh, reasons uh, why why I think uh, half of me thinks I did have a good time, but another half of me uh, said that uh, it was, of course, a massive uh, disaster uh, for a sure. I'm not ashamed to uh, admit that uh, for a sure, to which, uh, yeah, I guess uh, probably uh, from the looks of it, I think my mom is probably gonna watch this uh, for a sure, so. So yeah, if you are watching this, Mom, I am so sorry, so. But yeah, I guess uh, if anything, uh, uh, I mean, uh, it was a good try uh, for me, don't get me wrong, but but hey, I think if it was a little bit more organized uh, for sure, and if, of course, I would have uh, pretty much uh, gone back to my original plan that I will amiga, uh, which is, of course, uh, pretty much uh, going for the entire weekend, and, of course, uh, going my ballerina barber cosplay on Saturday and my regular barber cosplay on Sunday, I think it would have uh, turned out much better uh, for uh, sure, uh, yeah, which, uh, which I have to say, uh, pretty much if I would've gone back in time and would've uh, gone that route then, yeah, I think chances are, uh, then, uh, that would've, uh, been, like, uh, similar to, uh, why I, uh, did, uh, for the first, uh, three times I actually, uh, went to, a uh, Torakon, uh, for, a uh, sure, but, but, hey, I guess give it to, of course, uh, where I am, uh, right now, and especially with, of course, uh, stuff going on with, uh, my, uh, parents, uh, it may seem very unlikely, uh, something like that is, uh, ever going to, uh, happen, uh, for the, uh, time being, but, but again, I do hope that will change over time, especially for, uh, next year, uh, for, uh, sure, so. But hey, maybe I'm getting way too ahead of myself uh, for a uh, sure. Uh, but anyways, uh, back on to, of course, uh, this uh, subject uh, for a uh, sure. So, uh, so, uh, so obviously, uh, when I actually uh, performed my uh, skig, uh, yeah, pretty much uh, the first time I actually went to Torka, I not only uh, pretty much uh, got to uh, debut my Ash Ketchum uh, cosplay, which was, of course, my first time uh, doing uh, cosplaying uh, for a uh, sure, but I did also try my hand and, of course, see if I'm good at uh, pretty much uh, entering these uh, cosplay contests uh, for a uh, sure uh, by uh, pretty much uh, performing my uh, skit that I uh, did, uh, which was, of course, uh, Pokey Spam, to which... Uh, Obviously, I think it is uh, for a good reason uh, on why I didn't uh, win that uh, for a sure. Uh, but obviously uh, enough, uh, I think uh, it was of course a, a good first try uh, for uh, me. And I think the idea of of course uh, having a Pokemon version of of course a well-known sketch from Monty Python's Flying Circus does have a whole lot of uh, potential uh, for a sure. But Sadly, it wasn't actually uh, executing uh, properly uh, for a uh, sure. So, so yeah, maybe I think if I would have uh, done some things and made some massive uh, tweaks to it to make it a whole lot more funnier uh, for a uh, sure, uh, then we probably uh, wouldn't be uh, where we are uh, right now uh, talking about this uh, subject matter for a uh, sure. So, so yeah, I guess it is uh, for a good reason on uh, why I didn't wing uh, for a uh, sure because uh, because again, I think uh, around the time I actually uh, participated in that, I knew right away that there is some uh, really really tough uh, competition that uh, will actually have the uh, pretty much uh, the upper hand uh, for a uh, sure so. 
So yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much on my mindset uh, for a sure so. So if I actually uh, see, uh, if I actually uh, see that uh, they actually uh, won uh, hands down uh, and actually uh, take a whole lot more uh, hard work and effort more than I did, that's fine. Uh, I'm uh, totally uh, fine with it uh, for a sure so. So yeah, that was of course uh, my experience uh, for uh, when that happened back in 2015. Uh, so because of that, uh, I'm actually, uh, w and when I went to a tour con in 2016, the following year, I actually uh, decided to make an effort to uh, try again to uh, see uh, how it'll do. But this time, actually go for something more original. Uh, Hence why, uh, which is, of course, uh, one skit that I uh, did following afterwards was, of course, Ash Ketchum and the Annoying Narrator. And obviously, uh, compared to uh, what I did with Pokespam, I did a much uh, better job and, of course, uh, that uh, skit uh, for uh, sure. Uh, so. So yeah, everything uh, from uh, what I've actually uh, done, uh, pretty much uh, the way I've uh, written out everything and every single uh, joke, uh, pretty much uh, perfectly uh, timed uh, for sure. And even the incredible uh, job with, of course, uh, Trevor Powell VA voicing the narrator for uh, sure. And keep in mind, uh, around the time uh, he actually uh, did voice the narrator in my skit, he was, of course, uh, straight off of, of course, uh, voicing Boko in uh, Ben Joe and Bill Zooey's Excellent Adventure, which was, of course, uh, Done by uh, pretty much uh, DeWilson Nager, uh, Jasper Pye, uh, aka the artist formerly known as Train Lover 476, and of course, uh, pretty much uh, the uh, pretty much the Brony reviewer uh, now uh, named uh, Pagophile that is uh, no longer uh, in existence, Toon Craig Y2K. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, he actually came off of, of course, uh, that uh, said project for a uh, sure so. So luckily enough, uh, and true story, uh, where I actually uh, talked with him on Facebook and uh, gave him the uh, script, uh, he actually uh, really loved it. So I uh, did ask him, uh, are you willing to, of course, uh, pretty much uh, voice the narrator for me for my skit? And he was like, yeah, sure. And, and yeah, trust me when I say when I actually uh, heard the original audio files uh, that he uh, sent to me uh, for a uh, sure, uh, I was laughing my ass off because he absolutely nailed Nail dig up for a sure so. So yeah, all those uh, factors that I mentioned earlier, that's actually one of the more reasons on why uh, I did a much better job with Ash Ketchum and the Annoying Narrator more than uh, Pokey Spam uh, for a sure. And and yeah, the response I got was absolutely amazing. Uh, pretty much uh, the audience was, of course, laughing really hard. And of course, uh, the jokes that were perfectly timed out. And afterwards, once the whole uh, skit is over, I was met with roar applause uh, for a sure because of how much uh, the absolute loved it for a sure Hannah and of course uh, when the time came uh, for a uh, sure uh, for the uh, winners to, uh, to announce uh, to be announced uh, obviously uh, this may come as a big surprise I actually uh, made a top place uh, for a uh, sure so so yeah if you actually uh, did recall uh, why I did my videos uh, years ago uh, I actually did mention that I did actually make it to a uh, top placing of course uh, Pretty much uh, the uh, cosplay contest at Torcon this year, to which, uh, thankfully enough, in the uh, skit division, I took third place uh, for a uh, sure, uh, which was absolutely incredible uh, for a uh, sure. And I was uh, generally uh, thrilled uh, on how it turned out, guy. And luckily enough, I still have uh, my uh, medal uh, that I uh, won uh, even to this uh, day uh, for a uh, sure that I still held on to, to which. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, obviously in the huff, but I couldn't get enough of a guy uh, that uh, it actually is uh, quite great. I mean, I mean uh, from the way he actually looks, uh, re uh, resembling the uh, Torkong uh, logo from what I'm actually seeing, that's actually really impressive. So, so yeah, I guess if anything, that was of course a massive step up uh, to of course uh, pretty much uh, why I did uh, the previous uh, year uh, for a uh, sure, and uh, and I was of course uh, really uh, quite thrilled uh, for a uh, sure. So, so yeah. But yeah, that's actually uh, one good example from, of course, uh, why I can uh, give uh, for a uh, sure. And, uh, and of course, uh, in the years afterwards, uh, since after uh, my first uh, two times entering uh, Tour Con's uh, cosplay contest, and of course, uh, why I actually uh, went to even more uh, conventions uh, for a uh, sure, I did uh, venture out and actually uh, try my hand at entering uh, cosplay contests uh, over there uh, for a uh, sure, uh, to which I... Uh, to which, yeah, I guess it is uh, quite obvious. Uh, I have indeed uh, lost a whole lot more uh, 
for uh, sure more than uh, I've actually uh, won uh, for uh, sure, but it wouldn't be until right around uh, 2020 with, of course, uh, Eternally uh, Online Con when, uh, when, of course, uh, I actually did take first place uh, in, of course, uh, the uh, Cosmic Contest when I actually uh, pretty much uh, showed off uh, my... Uh, Pretty much on my uh, one of my gender bent Ruby Rose cosplays, which was of course uh, my take on her uh, Mistral outfit from volumes of uh, four, five, six, and a little bit of a uh, seven uh, for a shirt. To which, uh, to which, yeah, sadly, there's uh, no proof uh, for a shirt uh, from a Viking I gather since it's uh, probably lost in, uh, in the sense of time, but that is actually a uh, really incredible uh, for a shirt. And, I actually couldn't get, uh, I was actually uh, quite surprised when I actually, uh, saw it for a sure, uh, it is actually that great, so. So, yeah, that's actually, uh, one thing I can say, uh, of course, uh, that got for Hunter for a sure, and keep in mind, around the time, uh, that actually happened, it was, of course, uh, during the midst of the, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, for a sure, so, so I think, uh, chances are, it might have actually, uh, started off, uh, that way, uh, which, uh, does kind of suck, uh, but, hey, gotta do something if there's, uh, no conventions, uh, happening during the, uh, time of the, uh, pandemic, uh, for a sure, so. But hey, I guess it wouldn't be until right around last year, 2022, uh, to which uh, I actually uh, did make a massive step up uh, for a sure, to which uh, I still have uh, these uh, awards uh, even to this uh, day. So, uh, so yeah. And of course, uh, speaking about what I said about uh, two of my uh, Barbara cosplays that I actually got, that is, of course, a, a good thing that I actually mentioned that, I guess, uh, well, uh, for a sure, because, uh, because uh, luckily enough, well, with uh, Heroes and Villains Con last year, right? Uh, I actually uh, did uh, pretty much a wing uh, boss uh, level at the uh, cosplay contest there, uh, showcasing my uh, Barbara cosplay, uh, which uh, includes several uh, prizes, including this uh, plaque that I uh, still have uh, even to this uh, day. And of course, uh, several months later, I did, of course, uh, make a massive return to a uh, retro game con where, of course, I debuted my uh, ballerina Barbara cosplay uh, for a sure run uh, to which. Yeah, luckily enough, uh, that still took me a whole year to actually, uh, make uh, for a sure, and, uh, and luckily enough, I did actually, uh, enter that in, uh, the, uh, cosplay contest, and that, uh, pretty much, uh, that's a convention, uh, for a sure, uh, in the, uh, craftsmanship, uh, division, uh, for a sure, uh, to which, uh, luckily enough, I did more than just showcase, uh, pretty much, uh, my, uh, cosplay, but, uh, Given to, of course, uh, the uh, style I went for for uh, that set outfit, I, of course, uh, did some pretty much on uh, my best attempt at ballet dancing uh, for a uh, shirt, sure, which, uh, yeah, I have to say, uh, did take me a while to uh, actually perfect uh, by myself based on uh, research and stuff, uh, pretty much on uh, Google and even watching videos on YouTube, but it actually is uh, quite incredible, and luckily enough, I actually uh, won a uh, best performance in the creator uh, division uh, in that said convention, uh, which of course uh, actually does include that Super Saiyan Goku uh, Funko Pop figure that I won, but also uh, this uh, a nice uh, award plaque that I uh, still have even to this uh, day uh, for sure. So, but yeah, I guess uh, even to this uh, day, I think this is uh, absolutely uh, really incredible. I'm uh, I'm actually really impressed uh, that I still have uh, this uh, even to this uh, day uh, for uh, sure. Uh, and and trust me when I say this is actually a really great accomplishment uh, for uh, sure. Uh, and that's just to name me a few. So. So yeah, I think it is actually uh, really quite great uh, for a uh, sure uh, that I've actually uh, won all these uh, pretty much uh, cosplay contests that I actually mentioned earlier uh, for a uh, sure and uh, and I guess if uh, anything that is actually a uh, part of the uh, reason uh, for of course uh, not just myself but everyone else uh, who actually uh, been wanting to uh, do a uh, cosplay for uh, a long time now uh, for uh, sure because uh, as the years progress uh, compared to uh, when they first started they actually start to uh, grow and evolve a whole lot more uh, to uh, actually get them to uh, where they uh, need to uh, be uh, for uh, sure so so yeah sometimes they uh, they will actually uh, nail it uh, hands down while other times uh, it'll, it'll of course uh, be uh, back to basics uh, for uh, sure and and yeah I guess in regards to uh, this year uh, yeah yeah, I guess it is uh, the uh, case of the uh, ladder where, of course, uh, I actually uh, did uh, lose a cosplay contest uh, more than I've actually uh, won uh, for a sure. 
Probably, I think, a, a good example is, of course, uh, why I uh, entered the uh, cosplay contest at uh, Torcon once again after quite a long time now, where, of course, uh, I actually uh, did go in my Ballerina Barbara cosplay for uh, that uh, event, uh, for sure, with, of course, uh, me uh, dancing to the theme from uh, Swan Lake, uh, for sure, to which, yeah, I have to say, uh, yeah, is, of course, a uh, pretty much completely different compared to uh, the first uh, two skits that uh, I have uh, performed uh, the hair uh, for a uh, sure right uh, as it's a uh, really good way to uh, showcase uh, what I've actually got with my ballerina barber cosplay and my best attempt at uh, doing some nice ballet dancing uh, for a uh, sure but but I knew hands down that uh, some really really tough uh, competition uh, is of course uh, Pretty much uh, what led me to a loss uh, for a sure, and, and I did remember uh, pretty much uh, if you have seen the uh, cosplay contest uh, over at Torcon in full, you do know uh, that there is indeed some really uh, tough competition uh, for a sure. So, so yeah, pretty much of uh, anything, uh, pretty much uh, the uh, pretty much uh, the best I can think of is of course uh, the uh, couple that did the uh, My Hero Academia. Uh, Cosplay as uh, Gig uh, actually won second place, and one person that was cosplaying as uh, Jean Lee, uh, yeah, also from uh, Genshin Impact, did a really, really nice uh, performance on the uh, xylophone, uh, which I'm not gonna lie, uh, was absolutely incredible. So, why actually, uh, say, uh, why I actually saw those two uh, perform, uh, even during rehearsals, my mind is all like. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm actually uh, winning uh, against uh, these uh, two for sure. They deserve it more than I do uh, for sure. So, so yeah, that's of course uh, what's uh, gone on in my mind uh, for sure when I actually saw those uh, two uh, skits. Amongst uh, plenty of other uh, skits uh, that I uh, actually uh, saw for sure. And luckily enough, uh, pretty much the My Hero Academia skit took second place while uh, Jean Lee's uh, Xylophone... Uh, yeah, Xylophone uh, performance actually took first place, uh, which, yeah, I definitely called it, and I'm not complaining one big, uh, I say they definitely deserved it for a uh, sure, so... So yeah, it is of course a real bummer that I uh, lost uh, for a uh, sure, but it's not uh, a total loss uh, for a uh, sure because uh, when I actually uh, shared the uh, pictures on, of course, uh, my uh, Facebook page, one of the uh, judges, uh, Stardust uh, Magoo, uh, I do indeed apologize if I mispronounce uh, your uh, cosplay name, actually did comment uh, saying that uh, pretty much uh, despite me uh, not winning, uh, Pretty much, uh, I still did a fantastic job with my Ballerina Barbara skit that I uh, performed uh, for a sure, which, uh, yeah, I have to say is, of course, uh, pretty much uh, really quite nice of uh, Stardust to uh, actually uh, say that uh, to me. And uh, I actually, uh, it really did uh, warm my uh, heart uh, for a sure. And, and yeah, kudos uh, for uh, you if you are uh, watching this uh, for a sure. So. But yeah, I guess uh, needless to uh, say, uh, I think that's uh, one good thing I did get despite actually uh, Naga Wayne this year, which, again, that's okay for me to uh, actually uh, do that for uh, sure, uh, because, uh, yeah, give it to, of course, the uh, theme. I've actually lost uh, way more uh, cosplay contests, more than I've actually uh, won so far uh, for uh, sure, and, uh, and of course, uh, with the uh, four that I actually uh, mentioned, uh, that's just only uh, a small portion of for sure. I can't imagine uh, pretty much uh, dealing with a much larger uh, portion of for sure. So, so yeah, do I think it's okay to actually lose a, a cosplay contest at a, a convention? Absolutely, uh, for uh, sure, because uh, for one thing, uh, yeah, I think you can't actually uh, say that uh, all your uh, hard work is uh, all for uh, nothing, uh, for sure. No, I say uh, that is actually a really good opportunity for you to actually start to uh, grow and evolve. So that way, uh, in pretty much uh, the next time you actually uh, entered, you'll actually uh, make it there on top, uh, for sure. So so I say this is actually a really good learning experience uh, from uh, what I can uh, gather, uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, even... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, so... So yeah, even with uh, me uh, on my part, uh, yeah, I did actually uh, lose a whole lot more cosplay contests, way more than I've actually uh, won uh, for uh, sure, but... But again, that's okay. It's actually uh, giving me a good opportunity to actually uh, start to grow and evolve and actually uh, find my niche and, of course, uh, perfect my craft uh, for uh, sure. And, and with, of course, uh, the uh, great lineup of uh, cosplays that I've actually... Uh, 
done so far over uh, the past uh, years uh, for uh, sure. That is, of course, uh, why I can't say, uh, of course, uh, that up front uh, for uh, sure, right? So, yeah, if I actually keep on going uh, with this and actually continue to grow and evolve, I might actually uh, make it there on uh, top uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, I think uh, it's a uh, why I can't say of course that front. So to the people who have actually uh, been cosplaying for uh, years and have actually uh, lost uh, pretty much uh, Google Mouth uh, cosplay contest uh, for uh, sure, really take this uh, to heart. Uh, if it yeah, if of course you actually uh, lost uh, for uh, sure, don't take it as a massive uh, pretty much as a massive grain of salt uh, to you uh, for uh, sure. But instead, actually. Uh, Take uh, no on uh, what they've done and actually uh, find a way to uh, perfect your craft and of course uh, really step up your A-game so that way uh, once you actually uh, enter uh, next time uh, for uh, sure, uh, you'll actually uh, be able to uh, make it there uh, by uh, far uh, for uh, sure, so... So, yeah, I think uh, that's, of course, uh, why I can actually uh, give uh, for uh, sure as someone who has actually uh, been uh, cosplaying uh, for uh, sure. And, and I'm also giving uh, that same amount of uh, advice uh, to, of course, uh, to uh, people who want to uh, get into a uh, cosplay for uh, sure. So, so yeah, if it is, uh, of course, uh, going to be your first time entering a uh, cosplay contest or a masquerade, keep one thing in mind. There are going to be other uh, cosplayers uh, entering uh, that same event that are that actually have way more experience than you do uh, for uh, sure so so they might actually have the uh much more of the uh, upper hand uh, for uh, sure uh, more than uh, you'll ever uh, have uh, for uh, sure so so yeah i guess that changes how uh, right yeah, if uh, that being the case, uh, and uh, you actually uh, do uh, see them actually won, uh, and uh, you actually lost, uh, don't take it as a massive uh, grain, uh, grain of salt. Uh, actually, uh, take it for what it is. Actually, be a good sport about it, and actually uh, congratulate the uh, winners uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah. And that's actually the uh, good reason on uh, every once in a while, I did, of course, uh, showcase uh, pretty much uh, the uh, winners of, of course, the uh, cosplay contest uh, that I've actually... Uh, Pretty much uh, participating in and uh, been to uh, during my years uh, going to uh, conventions because I want to uh, show all the uh, winners uh, the amount of uh, support uh, hands down uh, for sure. So, so yeah, if you were to act, uh, if you're gonna actually uh, do exactly that, then by all means uh, do it. Hang on, I think uh, chances are you might actually uh, really uh, show uh, your uh, love and support to the uh, cosplayers that have actually uh, won uh, for sure. Uh, so that way. If you actually uh, lost uh, for uh, sure, really uh, take note on what they did uh, and uh, actually uh, really start uh, stepping up your A game uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah. And of course, uh, pretty much of anything, that's uh, why I can't say uh, during my experience uh, for uh, cosplaying for uh, sure. And uh, I do know hands out, I do hope to actually uh, go to even more conventions that will be coming up uh, very, very soon. Uh, and with a massive lineup of some conventions I've always wanted to uh, go to, I would definitely uh, love to, of course, uh, invest a massive amount of a uh, chunk in the uh, of uh, money that I uh, pretty much uh, go beyond the five-digit mark to uh, actually uh, let myself go on tour uh, for uh, sure. So, so yeah, only time will tell on uh, when that'll actually uh, happen uh, for uh, sure. But but if uh, that were to actually uh, happen uh, for uh, sure, I think that would, uh, of course, uh, be uh, really uh, great uh, for uh, sure. And I still hope to uh, eventually uh, go beyond all of that and actually uh, start... Uh, Pretty much of anything, uh, something that I'm still keeping my hopes up is, of course, uh, for uh, some conventions out there to actually uh, see about uh, booking me uh, pretty much uh, for uh, these uh, events, uh, for sure, as like a, a guest or uh, something, uh, but I'm sure that'll be uh, figured out uh, pretty soon uh, because, of anything, my future plans uh, in regards to going to uh, conventions uh, is uh, currently in the uh, works as of uh, now, so only time will tell on when I'll uh, get them off the uh, ground uh, for uh, sure. But until then, I'm still going to keep on uh, doing what I uh, normally uh, do and uh, and not only continue to, of course, uh, pretty much uh, making all these uh, incredible cosplays, whether it be the ones I would uh, make myself or, of course, I would actually buy online uh, for a sure run, uh, but also keep on uh, working hard to, of course, uh, go to these uh Pretty much, and enter these uh, cosplay contests and masquerades so that way uh, I can actually uh, showcase uh, what I've got. Whether it be, uh, I will, of course, uh, pretty much uh, 
be uh, something that I uh, crafted myself, or of course I will uh, perform uh, something hand telling uh, for a shirt, and uh, and yeah, I think that'll be something I'll do uh, for both of these uh, ranges uh, for sure, because uh, if anything, for the uh, craftsmanship uh, side of things, I definitely uh, want to uh, show off, uh, of course, uh, the ones I've actually uh, made uh, for uh, sure, uh, with some massive uh, help uh, that I got while uh, making those. While, of course, for the uh, performance uh, side of things, I guess it is uh, quite uh, obvious, uh, as someone who is actually begging entertainer for uh, some time, I do want to, of course, well entertain you so so yeah only time will tell on when that'll actually happen hands out but i'll be really excited for when that comes around so so yeah and i guess on that thought that'll pretty much uh, be a good way to end this uh, video so so yeah that's pretty much about it thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest video and by all means if you have an uh, experience with of course uh cosplay contests and masquerades uh, for sure whether it be uh the ones you actually won or lost uh, for sure uh, let me know in the comment section below i would definitely love to uh, know so so yeah that's pretty much about it thank you guys so much for watching this uh latest video and now if you excuse me i'm gonna go back to of course uh reorganizing and of course rearranging uh, my uh, cosplays I got so so yeah take care guys oh yeah still looking uh, great so far so uh, let's see you special thanks to all of my supporters on patreon for making today's video possible including my top tier supporters for this month VD so if you want to be like these guys and show your support to us, then go to patreon.com forward slash TV to pledge now, do so, and get some awesome rewards within your budget. Hey guys, this is AkaliTac4427 here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you like what you see here and want to see more videos coming up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and switch on the notification bell to get notifications and select all notifications to be notified for when we post a new video. And don't forget to switch on notifications on your phone as well. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel and our two-member channel with Sam the Thomas Fan 1, Sam Attack 4427 the Thomas Fan 1 Productions for plenty more content you can't find on here. You can check both of our channels out with the links or by our handles provided on screen. Feel free to shoot me an email with my email address provided, beackley95 at hotmail.com if you want to ask me a question, want to collab with me for a project you've got in the works, or if you want to book me to be featured for a convention coming up. Follow me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos, as well as plenty of others I've got with my handles provided, as well as the links down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok for other videos I've got aside from the ones I've posted on YouTube, and on Twitch for any future live streams I've got coming up soon as well as joining our official Discord server to see what we've provided. If you wish to show your support to me, then feel free to check out my Patreon to get sneak peeks of my videos coming up before they go up online, as well as gain access to updates and play more in addition to gain some awesome rewards within your budget. Also, don't forget to check out and show your support to me on my wishlist on Amazon, and even supporting me at streamlabs.com forward slash TV forward slash tip that you can find in the description box below as well as on my Twitch page. And in case you can't find any of the links that are provided, then not to worry about a thing. All the links and stuff are also provided on my link tree that you can also find in the description box below as well as a few selected number of my social media pages. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Take care.